Hey, what's up guys, it's Sushi and welcome back to my glorious Venom and to some more Call of Warhammer 1.6 action as the Vampire Counts. So first things first, apologies for not uploading a video in like the past 5 days, 6 days. I've just been really busy with schoolwork uh, and it's kind of like my finals week for you Americans. So it's just like a really crucial time for me to be uh, kind of working and, and revising and stuff. Um, obviously you guys understand that, I don't have to explain myself, but I, I feel like uh, you guys obviously deserve These an explanation. Um, so after this week, I, I should be pretty much back to a video every day, so make sure to be looking on my channel every day for my, my daily upload. Um, and yeah, let's go ahead and continue on. Oh, also, whilst we load into this battle, actually, you know, well, first things first, like, things are going really well. Uh, last episode, we actually managed to go ahead and kill the Dwarven King down in the south, which was amazing. We managed to go ahead and catch him in a siege battle, and we slaughtered him. Marcus had a field day at killing him. Uh, so that was really, really nice. Kind of pushing the dwarves back. Like, the dwarves don't really have any land. The Tomb King is, have actually taken all this territory. Um, and I think the Skaven might also have taken some territory. Uh, so yeah, the, the dwarves only really have their stronghold up in the north over here. Uh, which is, like, are really, like, the only, like, four or five provinces up there. And as soon as the Storms of Chaos happen, it's going to be really bad for them. Um, also, over to this battle, uh, Manfred has been under siege for a couple turns now against a fairly sturdy army. Like, we've got some really nice units and a bunch of generals, but no real infantry apart from, obviously, their warrior priests and their horn hunters. So I'm going to try and uh, fight this battle because I can't let this battle continue. They will probably besiege me next turn and the, dwar the dwarfs reinforced. I'm pretty screwed because look at the amount of missiles they have. That is just brutal. That really, really is. Luckily, we can attack at night time. Our army joins into the battle and both of their reinforcement armies don't. So th this is so important that we manage to go ahead and get into this battle without the other armies joining. Because Manfred, like, Manfred could literally die here. They have enough generals to kill him. So, like, it was really, really, really risky before I could fight this battle. Because if they decided to besiege me with the help of the dwarfs and their reinforcement army, they'd have, like, 2,000 men on me of better men. And Manfred just... Because he just has archers in his That's army, pretty much. Weird. Oh, it's night time, but obviously I'll turn this up in, uh, in after edits. So let's go ahead and get all my archers. I mean, my archers can probably just volley straight away, right? I mean, I'm not going to with them, but, like, they, they technically could. Let's get my crossbow up here. Um, am I? No. Let's just go and stick everyone here, because they're, they're bound to run away and take the high ground somewhere. And we do have two generals of our own, and Manfred's obviously pretty much unkillable at this time. He's got, like, so many abilities and stuff, but there's just nothing to really worry about. What did I forget? I forgot a unit. What did I forget? Oh, a unit of swords. Let's go ahead and bring these guys up to the front. God, so are you guys excited? It's only like a month until Warhammer now. That is so awesome. Yeah, my archers could actually have shot straight away. And I also have Black Knights reinforcing. That's really good for me. So first things first, uh, we'll let the, the archers come out. They're going to be shooting. Like, this is kind of pretty... Well, this is a, a pretty big waste. We don't really have a lot of swords either. Our spears are going to be vital. So let's just get everyone out. Luckily, we have quite a few saw, uh, quite a few spears. And we obviously got these reinforcements coming on. An extra G general's unit, which is going to be very nice, and more spearmen. And obviously, the black knights are going to be super, super nice to have. I'm going to go and turn down the uh, the voices because it's kind of a bit loud. I'm not sure if it's just my headphones. I think it's special effects for the because it's not actually speech. We'll turn that down anyway, because that was a bit loud. So yeah, it's only a month till Warhammer. It's gonna be awesome. I I'm really, really excited. Even if it's even like a good or bad game, it's still gonna be awesome just to play something different, you know, a different setting. It's just gonna be really, really exciting because I, I, I am kind of starting to feel a bit burnt out from all the current Total Wars. Um, obviously, playing them every single day to make a video and stuff, uh, it does kind of burn you out a little bit after a while. So having a new Total War and a new setting, which hopefully runs really well, and is just exciting. Something different, really. But, you know, I'm not expecting huge amounts from Warhammer. Like, obviously, it's going to be, I'm hoping it's going to be a really good game. But you, you, everyone's got to remember, it's going to be a first game in the trilogy. You know, they're, they're making free games, so a lot of the stuff they're going to be trying in this game might not be the, like, most optimal uh, way to do things. And in the third game, things could be completely different. So, I think people got to remember that this is obviously a first game in the trilogy, so they're going to be kind of touching new ground in this game. 
and then I assume consolidating a lot of stuff in the in the later games. Ooh, Manfred, get the hell out of there. Jesus, that archer volley was brutal. Um, oh, damn, I should be moving these guys over. What am I doing? I was too busy talking about Warhammer. Especially, as long as I get the Black Knights over, I'm fine. But until then, damn, Manfred is taking a bound. He's lost like 10 horses. Why is he not running? I told him to run. Look, he's running. Jesus, that took him a long time. Also, Game of Thrones is on tomorrow as well. It's, it's amazing. Which is actually a funny funny story as well whilst my army moves out. is I was actually originally going to be uploading an episode of Game of Thrones, a battle that me, Warrior Sparta, Overkill, and Pixated Apollo played. Uh, it was like a really cool kind of like beach landing and stuff, which was just really, really interesting. But unfortunately, uh, my Attila is just going really weird at the moment. So not picking up my, my keyboard or something. Like, none of the ASD was working. Like, none of this, which I'm doing, obviously you can't see, but I'm doing ASD right now. None of this is working. However, like, when I loaded up the game and I pressed escape uh, to kind of, like, skip through the cutscenes and stuff, it would work. Like, but it would it would skip the cutscenes. But when I went ahead and tried to actually go ahead and and load up, like, a, a battle and try and use the WASD, key, WASD keys, it just refused to work. Like, it was really, really weird. I know I actually do go ahead and have some of my swords from all that distance away, but that's fine. We'll just stick these bad boys over here. I mean, the, the main part of this army which needs to be successful is the spears, because they have so much cavalry, so using my horses to kind of go ahead and uh, assault is just going to be uh, really, 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 really important. Because if, if, like, if our spears die without really getting many kills, it's just going to be really, really painful because they have so much heavy cavalry. Are uh, they actually going to charge us, or are they just reforming? Obviously, our archers should probably be in range fairly soon. Like, it can't be too... Oh, it actually is quite a long distance. I mean, that's fine. We'll advance them and start having a little bit of skirmish off. They might even just decide to just charge, straight up charge. But again, they actually have a lot of crossbowmen. Which is kind of nice. Oh, the knights are here as well. Lovely. Where are the black knights at? Black knights are here. Cool, so lots of cavalry. This is going to be really important. Because my cavalry should be theirs in, like, a one-on-one -on -one engagement. So... I should probably move up the rest of my army, though, to go ahead and support this assault. Bring up a crossbowman, spearman, and then obviously my generals. I actually have quite a few generals in this army, which is surprising. Yeah, they have a bit of a hill advantage, but we have a lot more missiles than them, so. So they're going to be racking up a bunch of kills on me. But then my archer volley is coming right back in. We might even force them to come forward. I doubt it, but we might. But yeah, look how many look how many casualties we took. Oh my god, look at that, bro. Look at that, just pouring in. They're actually gonna, yeah, they're actually gonna go ahead and push up. So let's go ahead and get ready to fall back our archer line when our crossbows go running up. That's hilarious. So let's just keep up the volleying for a little bit now, because we're, we're kind of getting a, a bunch of good targets. I actually think they're just reforming. I'm actually going to go and change a volley and just shoot one volley onto the warrior priests. Because the crossbowmen are fairly like spread out and stuff. And these warrior priests are really tightly compacted. So having like an entire volley on these guys. Might actually take out a lot of them. And every one of these warrior priests we kill is just going to help out our skeleton infantry so like so badly. As you can go for a cheeky charge as well. This might actually encourage them to run forward. To like stop this cavalry engagement. Oh, they actually, yeah, okay, they're gonna come forward now, which is fine. So let's go and tell the cavalry just to go back, and obviously tell the archers to get the hell back. They just need to run away. I mean, these crossbowmen might actually get caught because they're dumb. Oh no, they're okay. They're okay. But look how cool the city looks in the background with my army as well. That looks that's like a really nice kind of like looking cinematic shot right there. So we're gonna go ahead and fall back behind our lines. You can see our archers just running back. Obviously gonna be receiving a bit of bit of punishment now. Let's go and turn the UI back on just so I can properly play the battle. Um, I'm probably just gonna engage because I need to go ahead and just like start this battle because like I, I need every single skeleton I, I can get. So let's go ahead and just advance. Like, every skeleton they take out is just going to really hurt me. And obviously now I'm moving everything up, it's going to be a lot easier to actually go ahead and engage. 
And these bad boys are actually almost here. They're actually walking, which is hilarious. Apart from this, yeah, oh yeah, we're actually gonna get some reinforcements. Like fairly, like at a fairly important time in the fight. So we're running up everyone. Archers running into position to start volleying back at the enemy. Anything important? Probably the great swords I want to kill. There's 127 of them. They're going to be pretty brutal. And then use my crossbowmen to probably take out some cavalry. Nice panther over here. Awesome. Well, what other heavy cavalry do we hear? Is it, or is it just all nice panther? I guess it is. Oh, yeah, because they're all general units. And it's not actually all like separate units of heavy cavalry. So I guess the Knights Panther are part of uh, Tabalaka land. How the hell you pronounce it? Someone actually did uh, show me how to pronounce it, but I've completely forgotten. Uh, so apologies for that. I do appreciate that when someone like just sound like just says, this is how you pronounce it. Like it actually does help me out quite a lot. But, yeah, these great swords are, are getting wrecked. Look at their numbers. Oh my god, we just lost like 10 dudes. And they're, they're falling back as well. Giving me a per perfect opportunity to just go in and charge. What the hell? So my skeleton crossbowmen are on like fire at will or something. Um, I need to just engage these guys. And where are these swords? These swords are actually almost here. Bring up my general. I've got some spearmen over here. Yeah, they a really nice charge here. They're not even looking. Black Knight's going to start running them down. Okay, this is probably going to obviously preempt them to stop running into me. My swords are all engaged. I'm actually going to go and get my Black Knights out of here if I can. And obviously bring in my Spearmen now. To go ahead and help in this engagement. And we also have another unit of Spearmen coming in reserve right there. Missiles need to be very, very careful for what they shoot. Probably just shooting back here with some Spearmen would be fine. Let's go ahead and invoke our dead just to make them a little bit more powerful. And probably bring over some generals just to kill these guys right here. Spearmen are engaging now. Just need to be, obviously, as I said, be really careful for what I'm shooting. Manfred's going to get a nice charge off here, fighting the uh, Knight's Panther bodyguard. And, I mean, he should be winning this engagement. Like, he's got spear support. He's actually, obviously, a better unit than the Knight's Panther, I'm, I'm pretty sure. They win in a 1v1. But, obviously, the, the spear support right here really helps out. So we should be cutting these guys down. My swordsmen, though, however, are obviously going to be getting cut down themselves. I really need this unit of spears to kind of just jump into the battle right there. Whoa, what are you getting down to three men? Get the hell out of there. Black Knights need to obviously get involved. I was kind of stupid there. Charge these guys. They're just, these, this heavy cavalry is really, really strong. strong. Nice panther. These guys have war hammers as well. Do all the knights have panther have? No, these guys are like special. They have like war hammers and stuff. Oh, these have a horned hunters. It makes a lot more sense now. They actually just happened to charge me. Look, oh my god, they killed like, a, they killed like a hundred skeletons in that charge. Damn. We might not even win this, which is a little bit scary. We've almost managed to take care of them ones. We have one unit of swords ready to deploy somewhere. I guess we go ahead and try and support over there. Let's go and get him out. Black Knights are engaged over here. They've done a very good job at kind of cutting down this Knight's Panther. There's just so many. There really is just so many. Volleying over here and killing these guys, this is a big bulk of enemy cavalry. So every shot we get over here with our archers is going to be really, really useful. We might be killing a few of our own men. But the majority of the shots should actually be finding their uh, target. Oh, but no, the Horned Hunters are right here. My mistake. My mistake. Enemy General falling. Good job. I mean, Manfred, though, is looking very, very depleted. Especially because he ran onto pikes. I'm an idiot. Oh, my God. Look at them. Get out of there, Manfred. Get the hell out of there. Uh, Manfred, get the hell out of there, please. Don't just stay in there with your lances lances pointed down. Yeah, he's got like no men left. We're just going to have to run him out of the fight. And just hope that everyone else can kind of hold their, hold their ground. What we got over here? We got some halberdiers. Yeah, they're going to be chasing Manfred for sure. I, I thought as much. 
Maybe that's why we can use that to our advantage, though. Bringing some Black Knights in to help. Probably go charge into them, dudes. Use our missiles to obviously shoot their cavalry as it runs away. I mean, we're starting to win over here as well. After that initial charge, obviously that was like a brutal charge by the enemy cavalry. But now we've kind of slowed it down. We're going to start winning this and hopefully start killing some generals. And obviously we do have reinforcements coming in from the other side of the field when they finally get here. If we actually make it that long, which I don't think we will. We might actually have to fall back because, yeah, these charges are going to be so brutal. I mean, really, the only thing we have going for us is the fact that our men just are not going to rout. Manfred coming in here is kind of risky because there's only, what, like four of him? But we're going to go ahead and send these guys back a little bit. The entire, oh my god, their cavalry is just annihilating me. It really is. Hats off to the AI here. They've done an amazing job. Uh, I really want to stay out the engagement range of the enemy. Especially when my generals only have like two experience left. Luckily, I'm going to win this engagement over here. Killing their generals as well. They should be really good at hurting their morale for their army. Like, good job, Black Knights. You took that engagement. Uh, I just need to get you guys over here as soon as possible. Uh, they can invoke the dead as well. Oh my god, help out. Please help out. Luckily, our reinforcements are coming in now, though. If they run onto the field. Yeah, we've actually got a bunch of infantry coming on. So we're going to win this battle, but Manfred's army is going to be devastated. Oh my god, Manfred's actually down to like his last two men as well. Get in there and kill some people, Manfred. Yeah, they're about to overwhelm my beginning army. I mean, it, it wasn't like... I obviously haven't played this battle amazingly, but there was, there was no way that their actual... Uh, I mean, my original army was probably going to win. It would be a lot harder to, to kind of cause that a victory. Uh, the Black Knights need to get out of there as well. I mean, luckily, because this is a Sally Forth, we can kind of just go ahead and, and fall back as the reinforcements come onto the field. We have a bunch of them. So I want to try and catch this and kill this general or this unit. Which we did do. Good job. Yeah, there you go. Nice. And then just probably running back in the city with like my spearmen and stuff. Just kind of just get the hell out of there until the, until the reinforcements of the grave guard and the skeletons and stuff all just get on the field. Because everyone else is probably going to die. I'm just not, I'm not going to lie. Everyone is probably going to die who's outside the city right now. So if we just go ahead and set up a defensive uh, perimeter around the gate. Oh my god, they actually charged me. What the hell? Where did that come from? Okay, don't get a bit, don't get too cocky, Manfred. Let's let's fall back. So Manfred needs to get in the gate. Oh my god, they're actually coming at me full full pace right now. So let's fall back. We'll go ahead and damn, this is such a close battle. It really is. So obviously, like, I just my army wasn't good enough to fight them. I maybe should let the AI use the supporting army, but oh well. I mean, we have plenty of reinforcements. The gate is fully strong, like fully strengthened, and they don't really have too much left. Like we've dealt with a lot of the heavy cavalry. We have a bunch of reinforcements. Unfortunately, we don't really have any spears coming in apart from my grave guard, obviously. But we do actually have grave guard infantry and stuff, which will obviously be good enough. So let's go and speed things up whilst we wait for the reinforcements to come across. What is the unit doing over here? Is this like a routing unit? Yeah, it is a routing unit. Right here, Horned Hunter. So he's going to get the hell out of there. What is Manfred doing outside the city? Is Oh no, this isn't Manfred. This is just another general. Okay, guys, so I'm going to speed this up and cut to where my army is formed up, ready to take on the, the enemy army outside the city. So, yeah, I'll see you guys when uh, yeah, when everyone is over here. Okay, guys, so my army is here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just advance. There's nothing else really much for us to do. We just have to really just, like, engage the enemy and just hope for the best. I'm going to bring out my general just to go ahead and help keep morale high, but I'm going to be keeping this unit of spears with them straight away. I mean, ideally, it's all about the Grave Guard. As long as the Grave Guard can engage a heavy cavalry, 
we should be absolutely fine. But I'm pretty sure, yeah, this is the rest of the reinforcements as well. So this is all we've got left. If this army falls, it's going to be pretty brutal. But I don't really see that happening. They're, they're kind of running low on heavy cavalry now. They've got, what, three units? Three units of horses left, and they're, they're pretty depleted. So, like, our initial force did a very good job. Considering how bad it was, and considering that it wasn't meant for a battle against that much heavy cavalry... Because if you think about it, it was mainly archers in the army. So coming up against a bunch of like really, really heavy horses is just no never going to be good for them. Let's go and just run everyone as well. Why the hell not? Get these guys up in the face of the enemy. We're probably going to have to charge because I think they still have a, a decent amount of missiles left. You can see, yeah, they bring up some crossbowmen and stuff. So we're going to have to like, straight up engage them. Oh my god, look how many kills these crossbows are getting on my grave guard. They are just getting slaughtered. My god. That is brutal. That really is just disgusting. Let's engage there. You guys engage there. You guys engage there. Where the halberd is? The halberd is come over here. You guys, it's all up to you guys to engage the enemy forces. Uh, we can invoke our dead again, which is good. It's going to really help out our infantry, especially the skeleton warriors over here. Who are actually having a real hard time of it fighting the enemy enemy forces. We've actually engaged with some swords against here, but they're gonna be getting wrecked. We definitely need to support them with these Grave Guard. Just need to get my Grave Guard through this gap. I don't know why I brought them around this way. I'm pretty sure I didn't tell them to, but they decided to come around here anyway. I mean actually maybe engaging these guys from the back would be good. Killing their infantry then frees up a lot of space for the rest of my infantry. So yeah, let's just turn, kill their infantry. It's the archers which are going to be hard to deal with, I think, actually. Oh, nice. Engaging these crossbowmen is going to be good. Stopping their missiles from shooting. We've got the Grave Guard coming from the, the back. Hopefully, we'll make these guys route. Because, I mean, their general is, is dead. So, I imagine they'll be routing fairly soon. Some more swords here against the warrior priest. Oh, this is going to be a disgusting charge by the enemy. Oh, that, that was painful. And now they're just going to just have a field day killing my men. <laughs> Apologies for saying field day as well. Someone actually commented, he was like, Jackie, don't say, can you stop saying field day? It's like giving me nightmares. And I was like, yeah, I'll try. And I haven't actually said it in a couple episodes. Oh, nice. They've thrown in some more of their generals. We can definitely encircle them right here. Again, the crossbowmen and that are annoying. I might even send this, this small general out to go deal with at least one of these units of crossbowmen. The swords fighting there. I mean, the halberdiers should be able to rack up some kills. It's up to these guys to really put the hurt down. There's one unit going over just to try and silence them as best as possible. Oh, well, it looks like they're running away. So we'll go and engage them. They're doing fine. Manfred can actually do a hammer and anvil strike, but we will try our best to avoid it as best as possible. Infantry back up over here. I guess we just engage the rest of the heavy cavalry. Get a nice hammer and amber with, with Manfred back here. Nice. Our halberdiers have engaged. They've, they've taken heavy casualties due to the crossbowmen, but all they need to do is just hold the line. Manfred is also engaged fighting some of the warrior priests. Good job, Manfred. Fighting to the very last. There's not a lot of you guys left, so you're doing a very good job. I guess the halberdiers just push on because yeah, we've kind of we pretty much routed the enemy now. They've got like a, a few like sparse units just laying around, but apart from that, they're they're pretty depleted. And some crossbowmen still shooting, which are which is pretty annoying. But our cavalry's doing a good job at dealing with that. They're routing very soon. Another enemy general killed. Luckily, it's none of the, none of them are our generals. I guess we bring over some infantry to go deal with these warrior priests because they're really the only thing standing, obviously apart from the cavalry. But the cavalry's all down to like one horse in each unit and stuff, so. That's not really too worrying. Oh, there's also a unit of horses over here, which we should probably go ahead and help out with. I don't think it will actually be able to deal with like against this much cavalry. It's like a 3v3 over here, but we'll charge there. We are getting shot in the back with our grave guard. Again, just taking massive amounts of casualties. It's, it's somewhat like a price we have to pay to, to win this battle. 
Also, remember, I am actually pretty rusty, in all fairness as well, because I haven't played in, like, a, a decent amount of time. I get, like, a good week, I don't think I've played in Total War, because I had a lot of footage, like, kind of backed up. This was just a horrible battle to play, I think. Like, they just had so many, like, so much heavy cavalry, and we just didn't really have the answer to do it. So I, I definitely, I've definitely lost a large, a large portion of our troops. It says we only lost 62% overall, but I, I feel like it's, it's a lot more than it, than it looks like. But luckily, being the undead, we will actually go ahead and get to uh, resurrect a lot of our forces, which is awesome. God, you guys are getting wrecked. Come on. It's like one horse. Just penetrate the armor. Look, there's just slice in the neck or something, which he's actually doing, which is cool. Oh my god, don't run away. Manfred, go deal with him. Go deal with the, the traitor. I guess he's not really a traitor, but still. I mean, how funny would it be if they just ran away from the rest of the battle and we lost? Like, that could actually legit be a thing. Just kill him. I mean, Manfred should be doing lots of damage down to his one horse, though. It's literally just Manfred left. Did we kill him? I oh, know he's still around here. How is he not dead? Come on. There we go. Victory is ours. Killed the last enemy general. It was a clear victory, but definitely was pretty brutal for us. Look at all these casualties healed, though. Skeleton Warriors pretty much got an entire unit back. Literally got an entire unit back. 138 out of 150. Same down here, 149 back. God, being undead is just amazing. It really, really is. You have so many men back after a battle. So many dead have been risen. That was a brutal battle, though. But it was a battle nonetheless we had to fight. So I, I don't think the dwarfs will, will physically attack my fortress. So just kill, getting rid of the main army, killing that many generals, it has to be good for us. And also has given Manfred a, a chance to kind of rebuild this turn. Because obviously he's not going to be under siege now. He's going to... Is gonna have a, like at least one turn before they decide to resiege him to kind of re kind of supply his men, maybe even retrain some and recruit another unit of something. Uh, we will execute them. I don't want any of them surviving. So yeah. Oh my god! Look how many enemy generals we killed. A noble death. Don't don't do it. Don't say it. no because Man we saw Manfred by the end. So it was one of the other generals, which is unfortunate. Probably this general. Oh my god! Look at all their generals just falling. I hope this hurts them as well, general-wise, because they're not that big. Telebac. Telebac. I think that's how you call it. Telebac land. Telebac land. Apologies if I am butchering that, but I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. Telebac land. Um, yeah, so we did actually lose a general there. Probably to my, my idiocy, but that's fine. Let's go ahead and merge up and probably just reinforce here. That's a full stack. We are getting some grave guard next turn, which I probably will just retrain, in all honesty. Just retrain a unit instead. There you go. Manfred's going to be safe and secure. I think the general was from one of these provinces, maybe, coming over to support, so he did give his life. We are getting a bunch more merchants as well to send over to the, the west uh, west mountains over here. Um, I guess I guess uh, Frodo will start like kind of making his way down south as well. He does actually have a few gaps. Uh, I'll execute them. Uh, yeah, he does actually have a few troops, which he, he can, uh, like, a few more spaces to uh, get reinforcements. I feel like, I feel like we're just going to advance a little bit, not really fully into enemy territory, because I imagine we can, yeah, obviously give him some more spearmen, maybe. Nah, which we have, we actually have a decent amount of spearmen. Another unit of archers wouldn't go down a miss, but I'm just not going to bother. I feel like that's, so now we have crossbowmen and archers, yeah, you get some swords are fine. Marcus is again just getting ready. I probably need to get some zombies here. Do I have some zombies just sitting around? I do. Nice. So we're going to push this, ar this army forward at Zufbar. And we actually crashed. What the hell? We crashed when we went to attack Zufbar. That's really weird. But okay, that's fine. We'll go ahead and come back to it when, uh, obviously, when I've reloaded the game. So I'll see you Okay, later. guys. So basically what happened was when the game crashed, we didn't end the turn or auto-resolve or do anything which means an auto-save would happen. So unfortunately, we're all the way back at the beginning of the episode. I don't have time to refight this battle, nor do I want to refight this battle because that was a pretty horrible, horrible fight against all that heavy cavalry. So what we're going to do is we're just going to auto-win attacker and then I'm going to delete a few units on my side to kind of represent that. But I mean, it's probably probably going to be better in their favor uh like this battle because they're going to lose a lot less generals like a lot of their generals will probably actually survive 
So yeah, we killed 800, lost a, like 100 or something. Um, we'll execute these guys. I'm not going to abuse the money. But yeah, some of their generals actually survived. Obviously, we did not lose our general, which I guess is good for us. But, you know, we, we're still kind of like, we're still, um, we're still kind of worse off. I'd much rather have like, a full, we still had a full stack. So we lost like four units here. So let's just get rid of like a bunch of archers. Uh, probably the worse ones because <laughs> because I said so, okay. Uh, yeah, we'll get through a few of these guys and maybe one unit of spears. I, I feel like that's fair. Obviously, we didn't lose our general. I mean, we've lost a few more units than this, but oh well. We're just going to persevere. They got to keep their generals. I got to keep an extra few units. So let's go ahead and just continue this on. Um, let's go and, actually, I'm pretty sure going to leave this army because it's really not that scary. We're just going to push on down here southwards. Will be a pleasure to me. And just start sieging them down here in the south. Like, we can't really do too much here. And I'm not really sure if I want to take this province. I might just fall back next turn. Because I don't want to obviously encourage the Skaven to attack me. Having uh, having Avaland down here in this province is probably pretty good. Maybe Frodo can move on like over here and start attacking in the center. And then obviously meet up with uh, with Manfred when he comes down south. Like Taking these provinces and kind of leaving them with one over here. It's probably the better idea here. It is in both our interests yeah, it's definitely the better idea. This is my spy. Uh, we can move, probably move my spy. Uh, no, he's, he's in a good position right now, for sure. So we're building some more merchants over here, which is good. Oh, yeah, so the crash is when I attack Zifbar, which is really weird. Like, I'll try and work something out for it next episode. But for now, we'll just not attack it. We'll just sit back and, and just chill out for a little bit. I got my, oh, my merchant's going all the way around. Are you joking? <laughs> that is so annoying. Why? Why can't you just go the normal way and just go a little bit to the left and avoid that army? It makes sense, but I guess there's medieval too for you. Yeah, so that, that, that was kind of sucky. I mean, because they got to keep the generals, I got to keep some extra troops. But I mean, I'm so rich right now, I don't really care. Like, I can just rebuild them troops. Killing their generals were really, really important in that battle. And we lost a lot of good men trying to do that, or a, good, a bunch of good skeletons doing that. So Blood Keep, I don't really want to make this episode as, as long as it's going to be by fighting this battle. What I will do is I will end the episode here because um, I just want to kind of get this video uploaded and sent out to you guys. Uh, and not really making it too long. I mean, it's already around 30 minutes, so it's not like it's a short episode. Uh, and the next episode, we will start the battle with the battle at Blood Keep. You guys haven't really seen the battle here in a while, so... Yes, next episode we'll fight a blood keep for further beginning, and I'll make it a lot longer episode. I'll make it towards an hour long episode to kind of make up for the lack of videos in the past week and this video being kind of short but not really. So, yeah, I'll see you guys next time and fish out. <laughs>